right so this is a bit of a different video we've got a gameplay of me and my friend playing war thunder here i'm going to narrate this live this is one hell of a match <laughs> my friend and i played this game he went 15 and i think two it's 15 to two deaths on his side we worked very well together i was an m3 steward he was an m24 chaffee I did a lot of spotting for him, which is why he's gotten so many kills. But honestly, it still doesn't do him justice. It's just he gets a bit of air there. He, he's moving in, putting out smoke all over the place. He's really, really doing what it takes to get into the alpha point. And it's it's really after we've captured alpha point that things start to get <laughs> really, really crazy as I'm sure you can gather by the fact that he went 15 and 2. You can see there, there's a puma over here that, that's just... I don't, I, don't, I don't know what this guy was doing. I still don't know what he was doing today. Um, he just came out of nowhere. I guess he was trying to capture the point, but he got utterly destroyed, completely moved. There's some more people over there that's uh, trying to snipe into the alpha point. We don't see them yet. We don't actually engage them until a bit later, but yeah, we're moving out of the alpha point now. I was actually replying to a text message I had gotten uh, earlier, so I was a bit late. This is really the point where I started to get myself involved here. He's, my friend here is moving forward. He misses a shot very narrowly from a martyr. That was a very, very narrow miss. Extremely narrow miss. If that hit him, it would have been over then. Then he returns fire at a Sherman. Hits the driver's vision slot. Doesn't go through. Doesn't do any damage. Here is my M3 Stewart. Nicely brown camera. I just wanted to look this. And I fucking tank the martyr's round into my tracks. I tanked a martyr round into my tracks. Does no more damage than my tracks. I'm fine, I'm spotting for him at this point, saying there's this target there, there's this target there. He gets a Panzer III right over there in those rocks. He moves to re-engage with the Marta. At this point, the Sherman from earlier is starting to push in. You can see it right here. It's pushing in. It's a French M4A1. It is pushing in. See how this goes. turning fire with the martyr there and this is where I tell him there is a Sherman right in front of us you can see him lining up that shot I don't know why he did this but the Sherman turned his side onto us my friend takes the best shot possible using a ballistic cap goes in kills all of the crew with the Sherman out of the way we are able to Create a bit more fire with that martyr up on the hill. I'm turning fire. Get a couple of good hits in on him. My friend moves up, takes a shot, gets eaten by the rocks. Unfortunately, he keeps firing and knocks out the crew. So we move forward now. There's a Panzer Jäger and another Panzer III up on that hill. My friend kills the Panzer III. I engage the Panzer Jäger start shooting my MGs. Unfortunately, 30 calibers don't go through the armor plating, but my friend's 75 certainly will go straight through. At this point, we notice, you can see here, the current kill count for him. Can't really see it on my Sony Vegas window at the moment, but you can see it there. At this point, we realize that all the points have been captured, and we are technically behind the enemy lines. We decide, you know what, let's go back, recapture Alpha point, we turn around and we can start making our way forward. Let's see me there. My three Stuart. Very good tank, very good tank. They've added ballistic caps, and as you can see I am signed to engage two Panzer fours. I spotted them, told my friend about them, I engage the one in the front, missed a first few shots. My second shot went in, killed the gunner and commander. Second shot I fired after that killed the rest of the crew. My friend and I get a bit split up here, but it's not too much to worry about. We're still working together, still in very good com communication. At this point, I don't understand what possessed this Italian SPAA car to do what it did, but it comes straight out into our spawn area. 
I still don't know why, but it did it, and it just got massacred at this point. Here's the next big what the fuck moment. You can probably tell, but that's a KV-1 over on that side of the bridge. We cannot destroy that unless it has its ass to us. So we start engaging it. My friend starts backing up. I start shooting as I'm backing up. At that point, for whatever reason, the KV-1 turns its ass to us and we start laying into it. It's my friend's first shot destroys the transmission transmission to its view here. We can see it's actually got its ass straight to us, and I don't know why he didn't just J out, but he let us pour fire into him. We killed him very, very easily. We should not have been able to do that, but that's what happens when you don't pay attention. As you can see, we're starting to capture the point. A few more engagements over there where that last smoke sack was. Not much to worry about. It's really just a few stray rounds. See, I'm engaging something over there. I think it was a. Oh no, it was the Panzer IV. The Panzer IV that came straight behind us, and I think it bounced its first shot on me. Go to the wrong Panzer IV there. But it bounced its first shot and did basically no damage to me. At this point, I'm dead here, I know it. But my friend gets a good kill on him, even though he, I believe, gets a trade on me. There. I fire. I'm pretty sure my shot round there just killed his gunner and driver. Speed it up. And this is when we get diddled by a, another Panzer IV up on the little hill there near the wall break. I tell my friend that he's there. My friend is chaffy. My racket gets destroyed. He pushes forward. He knows what he's doing. He sees that Panzer IV push forward. Not sure why, but he does. My friend here spots a Marder. I think this one is a Marder 3. He starts opening up on it. He gets some pretty good damage. The Marder is basically dead in the water. There you go. It's on fire. It's kind of bridge is dead. Most of it's crew dead. Just needs a 50 hit to death, and that is what he does. With the Marder down, he pushes forward. You can see the kill count there. Again, I can't see it on Sony Vegas. But it is, at this point, pretty good. He pushes forward even more. He starts pushing, creeping, creeping. Wondering where that Panzer IV has gone. And pretty soon he will have it. There we go. And he rounds the corner. You can see it right there. Backing up. One shot straight into the turret. Gets destroyed. But unfortunately... Another Panzer three up on the hill with a Stug right next to it gets a kill on him. At this point, nothing really too interesting happens, but the kill count is already pretty impressive. I think at this point it's around 13, 14 kills. He gets into his Corsair. I'm already in my A36, but I have a bit of trouble with the Italian twin engine fighter still climbing to me. So I get shot down. Here's my tank completely levitating and flying, I'm not sure why, but nothing really too interesting starts to happen. The most interesting part about this area is, or well, this point in the video, is really when my friend tries to engage a Spitfire. For those of you who don't know, the Spitfire was a British RAF fighter built predominantly in 1940, serving from 41 and 1940 onwards to the end of the war. In this game, he is engaging a Mark V Tropical variant. It is a very agile fighter with two dual Spanos in the wings, as well as accompanying 77 machine guns. I'm trying to help my friend out, but unfortunately he makes a poor move and tries to do a loop on the Spitfire, and it doesn't really work out. Here I am in my Sherman. I'm just walking forward still, just trying to get to the front of the Sherman. Is probably my favorite tank in the game at the moment. The T14 shell that it fires has 114 millimeters of penetration at 10 meters range. That's more than enough to go through the front armor of a Tiger 1. Here I am trying to chase down a Puma I saw trying to get behind our friendly Sherman there. 
I did see that I think SU122 there, but I knew it wasn't really that big of a threat, and as I tried to engage it, my ally there on the hill kills it. Here's my friend running into a rock, and he starts pushing forward again. Gets engaged by a shooter, he starts shooting it. At this point I see it as well, and I start to engage it as well. At this point I'm aiming, aiming, I miss my first shot, it goes just high, he misses the shot, well he didn't miss his shot, he uh, hit me, but it wasn't enough penetration, must have been using HE, either way my next shot bounces, at this point I start to push forward, but I knew there was a whirlwind around this corner, and I tried to side scrape it, couldn't see it, I push forward, and when I see it, it's too late, it rips into me, and those quad 20 millimeters will do a lot of damage when they penetrate you. My friend knows that the Shte is pretty much dead and he pushes on the Werbel. There is a bit of danger with this as he is an M10 but the Werbel doesn't see him. It is lunch. It is all too late. He gets a few rounds off and nothing major is lost. Just a radio operator. At this point, it's basically good game, no re. We have taken pretty much the entire map, the enemy completely destroyed. The only enemies at this point in the game were four people in aircraft and I think two SPAAs, which isn't much at all. At this point, I'm in an M5, I'm trying to make my way back to the front in one piece. It's easier said than done, but it's all too much too late. SM, I think, 79 spots my friend, who takes a pass and does some damage on his crew. Fortunately, the SMs, they are not going to give up without a fight. They have tasted the blood, as it were, and coming in again, another one drops a bomb, misses his strafe one, the bomb detonates behind my friend and does no damage, the other one passes over, is probably spotting someone else. Danger is not over yet. Here we go. He knows he's pretty much fucked. He knows his planes in the air and that he's probably about to get diddled by an enemy tank. Going up to this bastion, he hopes to probably get a bit of cover and get a bit of extra kills. Fortunately, the enemy plane is too much. Takes a strafing run kills the last of my friend's crew, but at this point, it's not enough. He needs to do that at least 10 more times before he can have a hope of winning, and he knows it. At this point, my friend spawns in an SPAA. Not my favorite one, but sorry for the lack of camera action, but my friend, he gets it. Oh, he gets another, another kill. Uh, airplane this time and at this point he is about 15 kills 15 kills to two deaths one in the m24 chaffee one in the m10 at this point he gets dived upon by an sm but alas the game ends with that i'm gone hawk out